Hi, I'm Jeff Wolfer. I'm the founder of Front Office Hockey. I'm TJ. I am the host of the Royalty Podcast. Hi, my name is Richard Cochran, and I'm the founder of Status Exempt. Hi, I'm Mary Beth, and this is Melissa, and we are 24 Social. I'm Alex Gassel. My company is Vetterview. My name is Mackenzie Evenden. Uh, my business is Evenden Imaging. And where's the slingshot? So Front Office Hockey is an online software where hockey camps take online registrations, payments, um, and it also helps them manage their contacts and database so that they can easily promote future camps and still easily manage current camps. So a lot of hockey camps either have a website and they can link to this software to accept the registrations or some hockey camps choose to have websites created by Front Office Hockey as well. Through the summer and the Slingshot program, I plan to expand to bring on 20 um, hockey camp customers. Currently I'm at five, so getting there. And then once the Slingshot program is over, I hope to take home the $1,000 and that will help me expand to reach some more hockey camps, but then also expand into other sport niches such as soccer, basketball, lacrosse. So I lived not too far in Japan and became their international manager and I helped fund their internship program which is over 50 people now, I was the fifth, quite successful. And when I got back, really into tea, full of wanderlust, but I was confined to a little cubicle, I hated it. So I came up with, you know what, we're going to do an hour long podcast once a week, totally ambitious, way too much, uh, but that's been going on now for four years, <laughs> just about, so yeah. And uh, my goal through that is to provide more content for, uh, for tea shops and hopefully I can eventually get into coffee as well. But right now, just for tea shops, get them some content marketing so they can get uh, a video up of, or an interview to describe their products. And my big goal is, is to provide a platform for tea shops and tea bloggers, reviewers to come together. That's, that's why I'm here. I use my First Nations or Indian status card to purchase basically everything in my life um, for tax purposes. So, and, and I noticed that no website had a process in place to authenticate my Indian status card. Um, I didn't buy anything online and I promised myself that I wouldn't buy anything online until I fixed that problem. So I'm going to complete my prototype, which is almost finished. And my main goal is to start generating revenue before the end of the summer. Mary Beth and I are very into lifestyle type businesses. We really enjoy being outside and hanging out with our dogs and a part of that is uh, having the flexibility and freedom to do that. So we wanted to start up our own company so that we could control our hours but also suit the need of businesses in Peterborough because we felt that there was a little bit of a void when it came to social media management agencies. This summer we have some big plans to scale up our business. We have specific milestones that we want to reach that we have set out ourselves and with the innovation cluster just to help us be accountable to those. And I think that our main goal is to just increase awareness that we exist as a business and that we can help other businesses reach their goals. Uh, Betterview is an adaptation of the Airbnb marketplace model that connects brands and marketing agencies directly with social media influencers. I kind of stumbled into influencer marketing by mistake. I um, was going to school in London, England and did a thesis on celebrity endorsement. Um, at the same time I was doing that, I met with two guys who were working on a startup through the London Business School, focusing on influencer marketing specific to sports. Um, and I left a meeting with them and kind of thought, why limit it just to sports, kind of put it all together and ended up where we are now. By the end of the summer, we're hoping to uh, scale the marketplace as large as we can. So um, increase the number of influencers to hopefully over 500,000. Um, and then also bring in marketing agencies and brands that will use the marketplace to search for other influencers that they need. 
uh, for various projects that they might have on the go. My background is actually in geology, and then my hobby is photography and drone flying. So I really wanted to merge the two and take my geology and geographical information systems skills and merge those with my drone flying and the photography together. My company at this point in time actually deals with taking drone footage and applying it to the real estate market and taking videos of properties and houses uh, for real estate agents. First things first, I really want to get uh, certified and get our, my drone license and permit. And then I'd really like to work with a few different uh, farmers and you know, people in the agricultural industry to really start working on the mapping side of things and to further uh, expand that.